please guys check this document properly check the application make sure that everything not a word i said a word not a letter is missing because even when we gave the agent and she sent it to us to cross check like she missed my second son there was a letter that was missing and thank god i saw it his date of birth again was different she missed the hey guys harriet is back with another video this week but before i go for that i would like to thank my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my video thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for telling anybody about this channel i'm really grateful from the depths of my heart and if this is your first time seeing me i make videos about immigrating to the uk and my lifetime my life experience if this is the kind of content you like to see you can subscribe and share and tell your friends so today i want to talk about the process of bringing your dependents or your dependents getting their visa when we started our process i was back home in nigeria before coming to the united kingdom and then the first thing we did was um, for my children we signed a document okay before even signing writing the consent letter we actually filled all their names and they are, that they are tying to me in my visa application because i had done my visa application before leaving and then we started their own process before i also left so the first thing we did was to write a consent letter because i needed to sign the letter before leaving nigeria and so we wrote a consent letter my partner and i my husband and i signed and then i think these are the documents you will need for their own visa application and then we also had their birth certificate so both their birth certificates i think it's not just the hospital one there's that one that you get from the government from the local government yeah that was the one we used not the one from the hospital so we used that one and also the consent letter and then for my husband we use our marriage certificate i know i have seen a lot of videos out there whereby people will say you need to put videos conversation charts whatsoever will help you with your visa application at this time families need to reunite before any decision is being made to change the immigration process so please guys you need to act fast that's why i'm making this video due to popular demand and also to tell you guys the things we did and then my family came to join me so please any document just do your research very well any document you think you need to include conversation chat whatsoever you think will help you with your application include it but for us we didn't because the truth is that all our application like everything we never did anything ourselves I told you from the beginning that when I, at my whole process, I use an agent. The school, the agent that helped me with my application is the same agent that applied my visa, the same agent that applied my family's visa because my husband didn't want to like make mistake with the application process and all that. So he was like, he didn't want to go through that stress. Let him not say he forgot one document or he missed something or he wrote something somewhere that he's not supposed to write. Let's just use the agent. So we use the agent. For my, she didn't charge, but for my family, she charged. So from my, the beginning of my process, to me getting my visa, she did everything without taking a dime. Whereby for my family, when she was applying for their visa, that was when she just took a little dime for, it's not a lot, it's just very small. You can everybody can pay for that so just a little amount she took for three of them and then um after that i think this were the documents for them and then so they did their medicals for their tuberculosis testing because you know everybody if you're living in the uk for more than six months or getting to one year you have to do your medicals and so they all had to get a tuberculosis certificate proving that they were free and so they needed to include it in their visa application and then i think and then the proof of funds you needed to show that you have money <laughs> and so i think for three of them I'm, I'm, I, I i don't know how much because you know that currency in value in in currency changes so I, I i can't say how much it is now so i don't want to give the figure that we actually put that time but now I do, I, I, you have to just check with the ukv to be sure of how much you need to put in the accounts for 
proof of fund because different family differs mine was family of we were family of four but i was already here so it was family of three so it was just for three of them a father and two kids so guys please do your research this whole process is, is so easy once you go to the ukv site you check you will see every information I, i'm sure you'll be able to do it yourselves why we didn't do it ourselves is because we just didn't want to make mistake we didn't want to make mistake at all so please guys go on the ukv site check all the documents that you need to put there every information will be there because i'm sure it's self-explanatory and follow the whole process so that at the end it will be a glorious result and so after when we got all these documents we sent it to her now even if you're using an agent i would like to put this out there even if you're using an agent you're not doing it yourself please guys check this document properly please guys check this document properly check the application make sure that everything not a word i said a word not a letter is missing because even when we gave the agent and she sent it to us to cross check like when we gave the agent and she sent it to us to cross check like she missed my second son's there was a letter that was missing and thank god i saw it his date of birth again was different she missed the date so she wrote she wrote a wrong date you know this agent like people are are, are, are they have a lot of people like, okay you know this agent have a lot of customers a lot of people they are attending to so please you make sure you do don't just say because i've given agents and they, they know they're perfect they will do the right thing no guys <laughs> they will not do the right thing make sure you cross check everything and thank god we cross checked it and we saw the mistakes and we corrected it before submitting if not that's our money i don't know what would have happened oh, we'll have to start applying this out for my child again or something and even when we we're trying to get a date for biometrics my last child date was different like we gave him one week apart and then we live in kaduna and then they had to go to abuja for the biometrics now my husband had to do a walk in because we can't afford coming back in because of how much difference of how much maybe 40k or so he had to pay walking of like fifty thousand for the last child please i would like to add at this point if you're still watching my video and you've not liked you've not subscribed please guys subscribe <laughs> share tell your friends about this channel so that you can help the family grow god bless you all god bless you so let's continue on the video and then after all that after all the checks and everything she submitted and then they had just had to wait i think they waited like um three weeks as of that time now i know sometimes it takes a longer time they waited three weeks and then their visa was out all they had to do was just to pay for flights and da -da -da, they landed in the united kingdom so guys i hope that this video was really helpful to anyone out there trying to apply or if you think i missed anything i just told you our own story and the things we did these are just the things we did just medicals connection with family proof of connection with family medicals finances and that was it and then the process the application process these are the major things we did so just check on the ukv side and make sure that you don't miss anything and make sure i would like to thank everyone for watching my video thanks guys and see you guys next